in the previous session we created this api which permits anyone upload an image and then detect objects found in this image while giving us a time taken to carry out this detection here we have this time elapsed we have the boxes and then we have the different objects which we detected in the session we shall be deploying this api which for now is running locally on the cloud don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss amazing content like this the cloud platform we'll be using is eroku eroku is a platform as a service that enables developers to build run and operate applications entirely in the cloud and so using eroku we'll be able to deploy this application which is currently running locally on the cloud that said we'll go ahead and sign up so if you don't have an account you could sign up in case you have an account you could log in so we'll go straight away to login now that you've logged in we'll have some slight modifications to make so right here we have this service and then uh, we have Neuralink projects from Neuralink projects we are going to create a new folder uh, let's create this new folder no this is in year let's have let's reduce this and then create our new folder we'll call this folder yolo x nano neural learn okay so we have this yolo x nano neural learn we'll take the service and copy in this folder right here oh uh, let's move that and that's fine so now we have our project separated from our virtual environment folder here so with this now we have uh we'll get into our uh, yolo x nano so it's from here that we're going to be operating and then we'll do again a pip freeze so we do the pip freeze and we have we see all all uh, the different models which we've installed all different packages and then what we'll do is we are going to do a pip freeze to requirements dot txt so this will copy out all this information into this requirements.txt file so let's run that and you see now we could open up this requirements.txt file right here and you see you have basically all those different packages which we installed the first modification we want to make is at a level of pi cocoa tools so in case you had installed it you will not uh we're not be needing this there are there, there may be other packages here which we may not need but uh i found this one actually very useless so we'll save that and then we'll get back into the code and make sure we don't get any error so we'll get um in yolo x uh yolo x data coco.py and then we are going to comment this line so that's it see it's not actually used so that's it we've uh, done that for pack of tools the next one will be open cv now you may be wondering when we test this locally everything looks okay for open cv but when you want to deploy this with eroku you can try this for yourself you will find that this uh, open cv python wouldn't work and so instead of this usual version we're going to install the open cv python headless version so let's uh we could just comment this simply we'll comment this simply and then to understand why this wouldn't work which is something you could actually test now the reason why this version wouldn't work is because it has been designed to be used in uh, desktop applications say for example you have carried out some um, detection or whatever stuff you're doing and then you want to visualize this then this contains all the different models to be able to carry out such uh, visualizations nonetheless when you're making use of open cv uh in the cloud where you, are you interested in in uh carrying out just the computations not necessarily some uh visualizations then it's needless having all this here so that's why we just take this headless version of open cv when deploying on eroku since we're deploying on eroku and eroku uses cpus some care has to be taken when working with torch and torch vision as first of all you have to install the torch cpu version this means that if you have the torch CUDA version installed you would you wouldn't be making use of that we instead need the cpu version and then also you have to check out on the size so this means that uh if you have a version a larger version say let's say 1.12 point whatever and that this is say 250 
megabytes and that you have a previous version which actually works that is you test it out and it works and it's lighter so let's say 125 megabytes it's preferable to work with this lighter version because uh on aerocool if you have to deploy your model for free you cannot uh surpass the 500 megabyte slot size and so you have to take uh, precautions when working with PyTorch. Now that said, let's get into this uh, platform here. Download.pytorch.org slash wheel and then here you see we have Torch, Torch Cooter and other uh, uh, modules in here. Click on Torch and then we would search for 1.10.0 for example and then since our version is the uh, Python 3.8 you see here this is CP 38 we're gonna pick out this one here you see we have this one so what you do is you simply copy out this link and you could check the download size by clicking here you see when you click here you have um, let's look at this here we uh, we don't have the size here but let's let's click and once it starts downloading we're gonna check that out you see here or oh, 190 megabytes so this is 190 megabytes but if you have another version say 1.12 uh let's say three eight let's scroll down a little and get to anyway let's let's have that oh uh, where are we 1.12 uh let's just say three five for example or this three six you click on this you see you have 332 megabytes so you see there's uh, some difference between these two now let's get back 1.10 um three eight let's make sure we have that three eight there we go we have this one here so we copy this and then getting back to the code you would have this torch and then at at and you paste this out you see that's what you do so let's take this off here and then you repeat the same process for torch vision where we're going to use this other version so let's have that at and then paste this out there we go torch vision at that so you see we have this link here oh that's it this other one we, we we should get the link and not this so we should have this oh uh, let's reduce this so it's clear there we go uh for torch we had instead copy the text instead of the link so we should copy the link and then paste it out so when you paste that out you should have this you see we have this two links now torch and torch vision so with this you save that and that should be fine. We now, uh, our requirements.txt file is now ready for deployment on Aerocool. Once we have our requirements.txt file ready, the next step will be to create, let's get here, will be to create this proc file. So we have proc file and then we'll just simply paste this out. Now this should be familiar here as we've already run this locally. Here you see we have web, uh, that, then gunicorn service dot main app uh, number of workers specified then the worker class is a uvicon class so that's basically it we just save this and we'll move to the next the next year is going to be our runtime so we'll click again here uh new file and then we have runtime now this is actually a runtime.txt file so let's rename this to runtime.txt so we have that and then what this runtime contains is simply our Python and its version. So you just specify the Python version in this runtime and you're good to go. You could always have that from here, Python, that's it, 3.8.13. So that's it. Let's exit that and that's fine. Okay, so we have our runtime now set, requirement set, and our profile set. We are now ready to uh, deploy our project on Aerocool. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a git init. See, we have initialized an empty git repository uh, in this uh, path right here. See that? Let's refresh here. See, that's fine. So we're gonna get back to Aerocool. We log in, and then here, once this is ready, you come right here, click on new, create new app. Once that's fine, we we'll say yellow X nano um let's say, let's just do if you do this you see uh it's already it's not available so you should uh take something more specific you x nano neural learn 
this is available and then uh, we choose a region and uh, I could say Europe and then create the app so once that's uh, fine you see you could either here have choose between this uh, Heroku git github or container registry methods for deployment and then also you could add this to a pipeline but we're not going to do this we're just going to get straight into deploying and we're going to use Heroku git uh, that's Heroku CLI to deploy to Heroku and now we're going to have this Heroku login right here now if we get back to the code you see we have let's do now if we get back to the code we could do Heroku login so we have that Heroku login you see it actually works let's let's um let's stop this it actually works because we've already installed Heroku so this means that the first thing you want to do is a sudo snap install Heroku in case you don't have Heroku installed so with that we are now going to back to our login, Heroku login, enter, and then we have this. So let's press any key and we should get to our browser to be able to log in via this Heroku CLI. So that's it, it pops up, uh, login, we log in. We already logged in, so normally this should, uh, we shouldn't be putting in any credentials any longer. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this is a different um, browser, so that's why we have in this. So we have team at neuralearn.ai. We are now logged in, and then when you get back here, you see done. So we we logged in, and once you log in, you could get back here, and then you simply follow these instructions. Let's increase this. Uh, Eroku login that's done. We create a new git repository. So we get into the project, we do a git init. So all you need to do here is a uh, git init. That's it. We then set up our remote git repo. So we could just copy this here and then paste it out here. So that's it. Uh, you see, it matches the name, matches up. It's normal because that's what we put in when we're creating this uh, project. So we have that. That should be fine and then we get back here or oh, deploy application commit your code to the repository and deploy it to Heroku using git so here we have uh, a git add now note that if you are uh, using git for the first time it's important for you to take a crash course on git so you understand better why we're doing all this so here we do a git add and then we pick all our files and folders so we just get back to the code and do a git add so that's it the next thing we'll do will be this git commit so we're gonna commit our code um, copy that and then we we'll paste this out here now note that this is a string which you can modify so when you're committing your code you could say okay our uh, my first YOLO nano deployment now after you could modify your code and say uh maybe uh, some version some other version let's say let's say instead of using yolo nano uh, you modify the model and you're using say yolo x or uh, yolo uh, s that's x yolo x s so you could say my first or you could say my uh, yolo x s deployment in another commit but for now we're using or oh, we have in first yolo nano x yolo x nano deployment so that's it that's all you need to do you commit that and then if you get this error you should simply run this configurations so here i'm going to do uh, git config global global user email and then we set that up team at neuralearn.ai and then we also do the same for the name so we have now our email and name setup so that's it for the commit uh so we, that's it for this uh set settings let's get back to the commit um commit see that's fine so now once we have that uh we move on to push so we're gonna push now this to arrow cool so we just paste that out there git push Heroku master and that should be fine now what we have here is that our push has been rejected to uh, uh, Yolo Nano Neural Learn on Heroku 
So let's check out the reason for this rejection. Here you see the conflict is caused by the user requested this uh, while this package depends on Torch 1.0.0, Torch Vision uh, 0.11.3 depends on Torch 1.10.2. So we get back to our requirements and then uh, to torch, uh, we should get 1.10.2. So now we are instead going to make use of this uh, 1.10.2 version instead of the 1.10.0 uh, version. So that's it uh, for compatibility with torch vision. So that's it 1.10.2. Now let's save this. Uh, get back here. We have git add git commit uh now we will our message will be change changing uh the torch version to 1.10.2 and then we have git push Oracle master the app is now deployed let's click right here and it works so we have deployed this app on the cloud and we will now go ahead to do some testing docs we test this out with this image execute and here's the output we get so the model takes about 48 milliseconds to produce the outputs here are the outputs pants shirt bag shoe different cars and the different boxes let's also try this out on postman let's click open this or uh, let's just use this one here so let's copy this so you see how to do this from scratch pieces out here post and then we have the body form data the image we are taking it's a file so we're going to select the file once selected now we click on send so we expect to get our output here now notice again that we are not doing this from our local host but from this address which is made available to us by Eroku. notice that we have the name of the project which we selected by ourselves and then we just have this Eroku app that come attached to it now we have that we get the output you see it takes 54 milliseconds for the model to produce the output let's get down we have the same outputs and then it takes about four seconds to send the data and receive the outputs here we see how this time is being divided into these different processes here now it's clear that since we consume in our model from the cloud then obviously it's going to take much more time as compared to when we're consuming the model locally let's click again here we see now takes even less time and takes less than a second to produce the output and that's it we've just deployed our api on the cloud without any credit card talk less of paying a single dollar in the next session we'll look at load testing to see how well our model or our api performs when multiple users want to access it at the same time